Assam Lisham had a late night stream. He fought the, a tree because they did not obey his command. He said, Obey me, Trent. He was a bit drunk, but by Islamic standards, he was sober. Three bottles of vodka made him fight the trees and lose his glasses. <laughs> you, have to, you have to throw in something true there just to make it like sellable. Because, yes, some parts of that did happen, but anyway. Obey me. Hmm. Wish of lost glasses in the best of one versus Jack Daniels. If anyone doesn't know, when I was with Ame and we were drinking some during the evening, and I'm like, um, you see this Jack? I mean, I could probably just like drink it like a soda. Ami said like, yeah, you won't. I'm like, oh. I won't, huh? <laughs> so I just put like a bunch of Jack in as a like in a glass and just drank it as a soda, like a glass of soda. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was not a good idea. <laughs> and yes, I did lose my glasses then. <laughs> And yes, Ami was streaming instead the next day. Yes, I was actually lying on the floor behind him. Um, not really moaning in pain, at least during that time, but yeah. If you liked the video, please do smash those like and subscribe buttons as it helps a ton. <laughs> Toxic. Uh, three times Necro. Oh, by the way, uh, it was rolled by Dream Hunter, and now they have a matchup of Fiona Sandro. Fiona Sandro? Damn. So yeah, Necro again. Um, okay, so... Sandro has a very special thing about him. He has slow in the spellbook. So he is, like, not the trashy or, like, the Kyle. He has, like, some selling points. Um, he also has the sorcery specialty, which would be which could be pretty good for mid game for the chain lightning or even late game, and can boost the damage of the fire shield pretty substantially, which will make it so that the ogre fit Sandro late game could be very very strong. Then you add extra slow on top of it, and you have like quite the package there. Actually, it could be very good. Then apart from that, what else exists? I mean, it's Fiona on the other side. Uh, Fiona is the regular choice for the Inferno, so it's like regular Inferno versus slightly downgraded but somewhat interesting Necropolis here, and that is the matchup. Depending like really really far, I get, I'm guessing for Fiona. Excuse me. Um, I'm guessing they're betting for Fiona, but I believe they're going like a little bit too far. Necropolis is pretty good here. Is it random heroes? Yes, it is. Whoever gets Fiona wins. Okay, another fancy prediction. Let's see if uh, the first one was a fluke. Explain your rationale, Fizzy. <laughs> Sandro equals no Ogre Fizz for the opponent, right? Y yes Because when you're gonna be using Ogre Fist, uh, you need to have the anti anti dispel orb. And if you're gonna be going with the anti dispel orb uh, with an Ogre Fist, then you're gonna get slowed. By the Sandro. And if he gets slowed, then you immediately lose most of the value of the Ogre Fist. You already lost all the stats and what to use it, and now he can't even connect with anything. It's super bad. I guess you. Unless you're like planning to assassinate the opponent in a single turn before you can cast slow, then Ogre Fist is not viable against Sandro. Hmm. Uh, 48, and then Dream Hunter passes, I believe. No, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Dream Hunter. Wait, what? Dream Hunter passes, so Gong was paid, so Dream Hunter gets paid. Yes. Uh 4100 gold uh gets paid to the Red Necropolis of Dream Hunter playing Sandro up against Gong Wazi's Blue Tower. I'm pretty sure these people should have banned the played factions though? No? Shouldn't they have banned Tower and Wait, what? Shouldn't Tower Stronghold be banned? Well, maybe not in the lower bracket. I'm not really sure. Mm -hmm. 
be honest, okay, yeah. At least I have explained your nationality. Uh, question mark? Anyway, I'll go on making his password with extra security. Uh huh. Okay. Get imps as well. Oh, uh, the best diplo. Do you think so? I kind of like unupgraded Gox too, because you get like a bunch of them and they're really, really good for early fire legs. But familiars are faster and they still get the job done, and they're also a cheaper deal. They slow you down less. Mm, yeah, I kind of like familiars too, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Immediate vampires coming out from the, um, for, for Sandro. So, by the way, Dream Hunter is red again, Gong Wazi is blue again, and Gong Wazi is also power again. So, um,. It bears, this game bears a lot of resemblance to the first game as well. Didn't pay attention to who Sandro, a dream hunter. He opened the zero and the null tab. Why? What do you think? Uh, switch up the song that he's listening to, naturally. Uh, read the chat. And, uh, of course, I'll respond to his girlfriend. Sorry babe, not gonna come back for like a few more hours, I lost the first game. Um, okay, so what kind of, we have two swans for side zones by the way this game. Um, also, he sees like the um... Say what? No, he isn't. No, anyway. Can we get another song? I was gonna be passing to another song soon, I guess. <laughs> If I understand correctly, Liatova is the land of rain, so nationality is Rain Man. No? Well, oh, I guess it could be seen as such. I don't think that that's what we base it off of, though. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, so one one comes out from Gongwazi. Um, was that the first reset or the second? I believe it was the first, so Dream Hunter still has a reset. Um, he ends up getting Gox here, which he's probably okay with. Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> Alec here. Alec here. I appreciate it yourself. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> DH is. Uh, oh, okay. So this is going to be the map that you're playing. So immediately. Mm, what is going on here? I don't think that the Gong Wazi is happy with the bunker that he is. No, wait, this is Dream Hunt. Wait, what? Wait, why am I confused? Red Sandro, Dream Hunter, versus Blue Fiona. What did I talk about Tower? Because I saw Hellion instead of Fiona for a moment. Oh, so that's why people call me Pepega. Yeah, okay, I'm Pepega. Um. Yeah. <laughs> like she was fried. Yeah, it kind of was. Okay, but now I'm I'm back. I'm back. Don't worry about it. Slowed. <laughs> yeah, slowed by Sandra. Okay. Dude, stop drinking on stream. You want me to get to? Uh, you want me to get malnourished? Oh my God! Wait. Oh, he's flying. Okay. I thought that there was like a very very weird passage over there. <laughs> uh, but it's fine. He's gonna be probably to being back. So, um. Is deciding whether he wants to get the sawmill or the saw um, or the a little bit of wood here. And so decided to go back and build out the matrix immediately. Um, he's gonna be super likely to roll into earth magic. Uh, with that in mind, he can actually upgrade the vampires in the uh, underground and then upgrade them easily. Anyway, his army here is gonna be like pretty okay. But honestly, the vampire dwelling guards are pretty big, so you might not be able to do like some of them if they're gonna be like a little bit harder. Um, ends up finding Wisdom and Diplomacy, skips both of the skills, and then ends up finding a university. Um, this university is like pretty annoyingly placed, but the universities are usually like a lot of value. You can find Earth, Air, Scouting! And such. He also sees, um... He also sees the, um... Estate over there. 
So he actually did get like something decent from the university, though he probably would have liked a little bit more too. No, actually no, he exactly needed one skill there and to be able to like deal on the same turn, because if he got like more than one skill, he uh, he would have needed to stay there and just accumulate gold, which would have been pretty bad. Hmm. Scouting is literally the best skill he could have gotten. Necromancers have such a high chance for air that it's pretty much guaranteed to happen, which means that if you get air on a Necromancer, your skill tree is already pretty much secure. I believe air would have been better there. It would have been both more temple and more securing, in a way. <laughs> um, that's what I think. Because all oh, logistics. Um, he actually took it as well. Um, okay, so this Sandro immediately starts off with uh, scouting logistics. Amazing, and a near magic scholar just like that. And he's pretty much guaranteed to roll into Earth as a necromancer. His skill tree is done. He has everything. Day 5, he has everything! Literally every single skill he would ever want! Not bad! Pretty good, actually! Holy! That's amazing! Who's playing Sandro? It is a Dream Hunter that is playing Sandro. The Gongwazi over here is playing his uh, Fiona. He already is the second down and is already bullying dwarves. Uh, which is very good. Bullying dwarves is very optimal. You get a lot of it, uh yeah, you get a lot of XP, you get a lot of other stuff to him. It's really, really good. He didn't do a perfect teleport, just to pretend <laughs> nah. He did check quite a few things there, like the scholar and the witch hut in the underground, you know. He did check a lot of things until he got here. It's not like he just went perfectly into these things. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty decent kind of from Gongwazi, picking up the dwarves here. Um, these early Dwarven Treasuries gives you like a lot of SP and a lot of gold, which you really do want. We might be seeing like a single build of 3Ds here on week 1. Uh, that'd be pretty good, but I'm not sure if that's the route that he went through. But he actually get, got like a super horrible level up there. It ended up being Fire Diplomacy. None of these skills are actually like any good at all. Um, especially in the early game. So that's a pretty tough situation for uh, Gongwazi to be in. His skill tree compared to the Sandros right now is just completely garbage. Um, there's gonna be like a lot of catching up to do for him to be able to do anything there. Mm hmm. Skill tree diff, yep. Scouting Log of Air versus Diplo. Yeah. GG. Wait, wait! You said whoever gets Fiona wins! Are you attracting your title of the. Of the Prophet? Okay, official retracting from Fizzy happened. There we go. <laughs> 266? Yeah, he has the moves. Oh, Cerberi. Beautiful. He can make himself even faster right now. So there's gonna be like quite a bit of speed available for the tail now. Not bad. <laughs> what the? Hey, Nubutron. So what's he doing? How can you win with the skill tree? You don't even know his skill tree yet! You might just go into all the right skills after, you know? Just pretend this is offense for now, okay? Um, completely into concreation for now, Nibutron. Not doing anything IT related. Red is Necro, Blue is Inferno. Um, yes. He's gonna be... Um, I mean... Oh yeah, he's gonna be like flagging. Wait, he can actually DD there, yeah. Well, I guess he's just like setting up the army. Already level 4 and advanced um, air magic on the side of uh, I mean, on the Sandro, yeah. Hmm. Oh, by the way, actually advanced DD doesn't do anything, does it? Like... It's literally the same as basic. That's interesting. At least on Tournament Trolls. Hmm. I didn't realize that. Because 300 moves, 20 mana, basic and advanced is literally the same. 
the expert gives you 300 moves plus the second one. So the um, going from advanced air to expert air is like one of the bigger power spikes in the early game. Saves 100 moon points. No, basic to advanced does not save 100 moon points. That is not the case. Lucas mana 25 to 20. No, basic to advanced does not do that. You're comparing like no air magics to basic air magics, but I'm comparing basic air magics to advanced air magics. You see? <coughs> Okay, he's gonna be able to flag some vampires here in week one, and we're gonna be seeing some vampire gameplay here. Vampire Sandro versus a uh, pretty basic Inferno. Speaking of the basic Inferno, I wonder what he, what he was able to do here. He built on the first down, which actually indicates to me that he got some Ephrides, actually. And also got, like, one of these external legs, too. I don't know much about the skill tree that right now, though. Mm-hmm. Stop talking, the best song of the series is playing. <laughs> Bruh. Hmm. So, let's see. He only has like 5 knowledge and is lacking like a good sculpture for now too. Oh, by the way, ore and a treasury. This is exactly what he needs to buy out the Magic University. Um, has both the gold from the treasury and the... Oh, but he cannot do it. He's checking for the size, it's too big. He would have to level up, which is kind of bad, probably. Yeah, you see, if he doesn't level up right now to any skill, then he would be able to like uh, close out the schools of magic like way earlier. Uh, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna be like an option for him. Very unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the uh, Magic University is gonna be fixing up the skill tree, and he's gonna be very likely rolling to logistics right now. Look, I, I'm such a good prophet that I know what the next level up of Siona will be. It will be Wisdom Logistics. Wisdom is going to be on the left side of the level up. Hey, so I'm pretty good at a video game. I know these things. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> That's the money for you. Yep. <laughs> Just lucky. No, uh, Wisdom level up was guaranteed because you're guaranteed Wisdom level up every six levels, and the guaranteed level up is always going to be on the left side if, uh, because it's forced immediately, and then the other level up is going to be based on the odds of the uh, kind of hero that you're playing, which was a Demoniac, which is it has like 10 for logs or something insane, so you're almost always going to be rolling Wisdom log in there. It's just odds, okay? I still feel pretty good for calling it, though. It's just because of the delay of the stream. <laughs> no. Hmm. Nice, bro. Yeah. Pre-recorded tournament. Oh my. Wait, this fight is gonna be... Hmm. Well, no, it's probably fine. Yeah, 50 zombies gonna be able to carry this easy. Don't be afraid to admit it. I'm not afraid. You wanna be afraid? <laughs> Pretty sure you played this map already, that's why you know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the fight is scary, right? Why would you do that? I mean, you have to progress in the game. You can't always just be afraid. Sometimes you have to take that step forward, even if it is scary. Oh my god, he's losing vampires. Um, that's not very good at all. I mean, he of course wants the Vampire Lords. Mm-hmm. Minus frame, so far. Mm, he might be losing a little bit more. If he goes to the north side, though, he might be able to block most of them. Actually, I don't see a good blocking pattern at all. Okay, but they're not focusing those anymore. So yeah, minus frame. And what what is he doing this for? I believe it's a Vampire Dwelling now. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> plus one. Amazing. Let's go. I mean, he also gets like a little bit of XP and a little bit of Skelly, which is not too bad. I'm gonna be able to buy out into the mate, I mean, buy out the Mage Guild and uh, chill here for now. He's missing two crystals, one gem to upgrade the Vampire Lords. He needs a lot more XP to be able to like level up into Earth. I mean, he's a Necromancer. Necromancers will roll Earth magic easy, but he needs levels to do that. What theme is this? I know it's Lion Mage, but I don't know what city. Is it the Dion? Dion? I don't even know how it's pronounced. 
It's that one, right? Or Gluden. Anyway. Mm. It's not gluten. <laughs> Bro. Okay. Um, uh, okay. He's able to, like, take this uh, pretty easily. Um, treachery... Like, a maximum treachery is pretty much the best thing he can do right now. Um, after this one, he was gonna be like, Ooh! Dude! You, you, you play vampires and not! Make a choice, man! Just make a choice, man! Where's Tanato? Yeah, he shouldn't be caring about anything but vampires. Then the auto doesn't lose any vampires, and then you lose vampires. Like, bruh. I mean, been there, done that, but like... You know, you're further in the tournament than me. You can make the excuse that I do. Um, okay. Um, not that much XP. Yeah. He's a little bit mad about his level loss, but yeah, he's respecting the resources that he needs for the Vampire Lords right now. But like, one, two, three, no Vampire Lords. And, um, not that much XP either. Honestly, you know what I think? I think that the logistics that he took there early on was way too greedy. He shouldn't have taken it. He should not have taken that logistics. It's slowing down everything for him right now. The Earth Magics, the logistics, I mean, the, um... The, uh... Air Magics, you know? It's costing him a lot. So, uh, we see the position. We're gonna be expecting some vampires to come in. Um, then, let's see. What do we have next? Coming up. Um... I mean, Dream Hunter probably, like, uh, buying out the school's magic, if he has not already. And then leveling it up. Honestly, I wonder who... I mean, G Gong was he's buying out the school's magic. Uh, I wonder who's gonna be getting to, like, expert control first. Because there's so many levels that Dream Hunter ne needs, but he's not... Doesn't even have a good way to do those fights. Okay, by the way. Yes, I did notice the expert air plus basic earth available already for Gong. And also expert logs uh, already as well. So he's very mobile. Double the D plus expert logs per turn is gonna get him to move a lot. And him moving this much will enable him to do like pretty much every single um, dwelling that he has here in the biome, making for a good foodie stack, making for a good game. Okay, I feel like I kind of believe in Gongwa's position right now. That's very nice. That's very nice. Hey, Andre. Bong Wazi. Lexi, what do I do if I get up in the morning and see Papega in Mirror? You, of all people, should know. Just remove birds from the house! Pull a mouth, Dota. Hmm. Um, okay. There we go. This Donger is an animal. He is, he is. Okay, gonna be able to go back. And now, can actually... Yeah, so he did build the easy 3 on week 1 here. And now he would capitalize. Now he has a good enough army to pretty much do anything. So he's gonna be like running through the biome in a straight line, picking up every single resource bank and dwelling that he can see. And uh, that's what he did for like many, many games. And it has proven to be effective. Uh, I wonder if he's gonna be doing the fire lake over there on the right, or he's gonna be like sticking to the road and gonna be like uh, prioritizing the fire lakes and the resource banks. So yeah, he also sees looks at the break being Nagas. He could do it right now. He could definitely just do it right now, but uh, he chooses not to. I guess. Um, that's nice. Okay, look at that, um, a Slack Club stockpile, a Nagi Bank, and another dwelling. Uh, he finds uh, so many good things here, it's amazing for him, very good. Do you thought that Fire Lake? Hmm? Two Nagi Banks, I don't think I see the second one right now. Well, maybe it's not in a good position? Anyway, we'll see. Oh yeah, wait, that, that's two Nagabanks right there, next to each other! Okay! Oh wow! 
That's gonna be like infinite gold. He's gonna be able to like upgrade, buy out everything and upgrade so pretty easily if he's gonna be fine with those steel. And I can't believe, and I mean, I can't imagine him not doing this. It's such a good objective to go for. By the way, he ended up not using one of his DDs on this turn, I think. Um, I think that's because he intends to stay here. The DD would not have bought the, that many moves, so he may as well just like save the mana for the next turn. I believe that makes sense, yes. He's gonna be buying out the marketplaces so he can trade better. Then, there's still no Vampire Lords! Where the Vamp Lords at? You're... What? Geomante seems to be in a position where he doesn't really have a strategy. He didn't really commit to anything. He didn't take, like, other dwellings. He didn't save the skeletons. He didn't and He doesn't have Vampire Lords, what you say, despite taking dwellings on week one. And, uh, honestly, he seems, like, very, very lost. He got the building for a... Uh, He's looking for the week free timing of vampires, but week free is when the vampires already should have paid off and you should be transitioning from the vampires, not when you should be getting the vampires. Nice slow, bro. Uh, despite having a seemingly insane start here, Gongwazi ends up really slow. Like, dramatically slow. I'm not really sure what went wrong here for him. Gets the advanced air, so he's able to like buy out the vampire lords right now and then possibly start doing things with them too. Okay. Where did Dream Hunters get a time ago? Probably lamenting his life decisions that led him to this point. That actually happens pretty often, by the way. The worse a player is doing, the worse the timer is. Because they're like, there's no way this is happening. Like, this is my game right now. What did I do to deserve this? This is actually where your timer goes, by the way. Wait, he's a, he actually found such a box. Jesus. That's fortunate. There's no way this is vampires, right? Mm, if it's vampires, then well. Let's see it. Okay, lights. There we go. Gongwazi is Fiona? What the hell do you mean? Wait, oh, sorry if I misspoke, but yes, I do realize this is Dream Hunter on the, um, on, yeah. Isn't DH red? Yes, the Dream Hunter is red. Gongwazi is the one uh, that's making the comeback with Fiona, and Dream Hunter is the one that seems lost without a strategy. Told you Fiona's going to win, you Pepega. Yeah, but you already revoked your title as the Prophet, so, get lost. Hmm. A prophet does not falter because his uh, calls are not based on what the, you know, what the uh, people people see. They are supposed to see further, but you were swayed too easily, so you do not deserve. Hmm. Um, there's gonna be like quite a few resources there on the left side too. I wonder how many of these dwellings uh, Gongwazi already flagged. I believe it's gonna be like at least five of the Violets already. How's it fair? Premium Fiona versus Sandro. <laughs> well, they had the hero trade. I mean, Dream Hunter could have paid more in order to play Fiona himself instead of giving it away to Gongwazi. Yeah, he's looking for that um, side of objectives. Uh, he wants those, but, um, he's wondering whether he should actually pursue him. Hey, kitty. What up? You think it's not a fair matchup? Just pay more. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, Gongwazi just needs uh, one more win to, uh, um, yeah, to fully succeed. Uh, yep. That is the case. Oh, moral. Not bad. Oh, uh, pretty good, in fact. So, he's gonna be having, like, so many freebies, then he's gonna be having the option to break immediately. Or, rather, to... Whoa, by the way, Gongwazi makes his Citadel investments, like, earlier than I would consider doing them myself as well, again. I see people respecting them quite a bit more than than I do, so maybe this could be like something that I can take away into my game still. Interesting. Mm-hmm. 
Let's have who won. Oh. Huh? Anyway. Uh, so finally, vampire lords here are available. Wait, he just found this box, huh? Interesting. I wonder if he saw this prior, or he just walked into this right now. Mm-hmm. Ten vampires, unupgraded right now. This looks to be the vampire box. Yeah. Citadel, Citadel's better now. Um, yeah, actually, it kind of looks like it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, the Vampire Lords, yeah. Wait, was he going for these... For the Vampire Estate? Did he see the box in, in advance? I don't rem I didn't realize whether he did or not. Because going for this Vampire Estate is like... Doesn't make any sense. If you saw both the box and the... And that, then I guess it's fine. Hmm. Vampire. Yes, indeed. So the Vampire Sack is good enough to do Utopias, to do Breaks, and so on. Uh, but I think it's gonna be, like, pretty slow. Uh, with Necro, you will, I mean, with this you wanna be controlling mid, but he's gonna be not controlling mid for at least, like, a pretty long while. He's gonna be making, like, an, uh, other Bime investments by going Vampires. Vampires are all about breaking, tempoing, and getting, like, a bunch of Otis and controlling the map with those. Rather than anything else, but... Hmm... There's no way for Dream Hunter to win this. One for two break. Yeah. I mean, a late Necro break with uh, a proper army investment can actually be decent. Because uh, Necro from Bime Farming can actually get like one of the biggest armies in the game. Um, the eight Dread Knight dwellings is completely insane. You get like eight of the best tier 6 unit, right? Uh, a bunch of dragons are available to you, and you can also like Necro with Skelly Farm as well, which is going to be like everlasting. So, it's not necessarily GG just because of that, but with his approach, it's kind of GG, you know? If you're, like, approaching the game in a vampire setting, you cannot be breaking that late, yeah. If free it over Dread? Um, no. There's no way, I mean, you're comparing 9th HP units that don't deal damage to Giga Chats with 120 and infinite damage. Mm hmm. One for one, no one did this yet. What am I watching? We are watching the finale of the King of Duel. Sometimes breaking early is not necessarily the best call. It seems. So those are pretty good damage and tanky wise, but they don't benefit from HP set, which sucks. Yes, it does a little suck a little bit. Uh, but you can then get plus speed, plus interference from your uh, ring slot, which is. You know, like, making up quite a bit of that. Dread can't hit ever, and if Reed gives you a fair speed, you can clone and hit. <laughs> just, just, just clone every single turn, lol, and just, like, send them in, lol? Chain doesn't exist, Teleport doesn't, doesn't exist, Prayer does not exist, Ogfist does not exist, um, other styles do not exist, it's just a vacuum, just... Sit behind walls and send them in, lol. You just have the proper schools of magic, deal. Can use a spell. Yeah, I mean, some stats. It's fine. Gong will do this. You will see 300 or 3D cloned every turn. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen, but. You do, you. <laughs> Sign up. Support yourself. Thank you. Hell yeah. How do you survive, Lexi? <laughs> I mean... I'm used to it. Uh, by the way, both players are actually making further investments into their biome. Um, Golden Wazzy flagging some of the Dread Knight dwellings and such, and then... I believe that there's gonna be like probably double build devils by the end of week 3 for Golden Wazzy too. Find some near thumb, find some easy breaks here too. Alright. Mid is comfy again. Yeah, seems like it. This man, this is so trash. Why? Why? I mean, it could be good for uh, Dream Hunter here, because he could be able to triple build or quadra build uh, some army, and he needs to probably transition away from Necro. I think he didn't make enough investments early on for this to be like paying off. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
lari sapik. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is like the easiest break. He can already kill in there. He's wasting quite a bit of time here. <clears throat> yeah, can enter now. Can enter now. Can you enter? Enter kill. Enter, enter. QQ. Okay, could we be able to like pick up the Nagas here and then I guess to get to the town immediately. Um, oh yeah, he's also looking for a helmet still. Uh, he probably would like more mana to be able to like have more longevity with his vampires. Um, okay. No Q, only enter. Yeah. Why do dragons sometimes back up uh, against units in the corner? Um, do you respect the AoE spells uh, that are in your spellbook? Um, it's a pretty popularly known fact by now, but actually the AI, whatever you're fighting, um, can actually see into your spellbook and whether you have an AoE spell or not. And if you have any AoE spell in your spellbook, like a fireball, circle, um, inferno and such, then they will actually position around it. As in, they will try to spread a little bit more um, than they otherwise would when you don't have an AoE spell. And um, that positioning can... Um, I mean, disrespect for AoE spells in your spellbook can lead to some pretty weird outcomes where the dragons in a corner will not be both attacking the same target. Even if they're immune to the spell, they will actually still respect them. It's kind of stupid, but um, it is what it is. Area of effect? Yes, um, like ones that hit a certain area, you know, like a fireball, um, circle, inferno, berserk, meteor shower. Like, for example, there used to be patterns for doing like um, experimental workshops for free on no retaliation units by infinitely following a rotation, right? Um, if you used to have an any AoE spell in your spellbook, this rotation would just break. It wouldn't work anymore. So you have to like play around it even. It uh, was a pretty important mechanic to have to worry about. Goose already coming in for a gong wazi. Nice. I'm gonna be like uh, really really rich and he's building it into like a good army too. Um Gong Wazi's game is already like on point. He managed to build a decent field, and despite the early shortcomings of his um, skill tree, as well as uh, the early tempo lead of uh, Dream Hunter, Dream Hunter ended up wasting, like, uh, honestly, Dream Hunter's almost entire week 2 was completely wasted doing some pretty meaningless stuff. He didn't manage to get, like, much of army, much of experience, or anything. He just had, like, basically, like, a few turns towards the end of the week, and is now starting to actually play. But it might just be a little bit too late to actually get anything decent done. But it will depend on how the game flows. If um, Gongwaz is not able to assemble a good amount of artifacts to be able to like contest them, contest his opponent in the desert here, then he might be like in a bit of a spot. Also, he is wasting his time here instead of sitting in the corner and just like immediately attacking. Um, all this like slow moving is just banning him more into his timer. And timer is not something that he has a lot of, so he should be respectful of it. But well, he's not. Enter, 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 QQ. Uh, find some shitters on the stern. And then goes for the, um... Um, ends up using the Esper Slow to protect the Magmars. I guess he does want to transition into, like, uh, having some other army that is not only going to be the Vampire Lords, so like, he's interested in protecting them. Even if they're kind of trash. Honestly, I would have accepted the auto, with all of them dying. So there we go. Hey, call me master. I appreciate the salt. Thank you. Thank you. Dish wasting timer and man. Well, he has 59 vampire. <laughs> Dave doesn't look like a necro player. Yeah. Um, I, be I mean, I believe that neither of the one of these players was a Necro player, because one, they put pretty far, despite Sandra being pretty good. Um, two, they actually rerolled twice, because there was Necro in each pair. So they, both of them probably were, are not really comfortable with Necropolis, not much at all. So, yeah, they were still forced to play Necro. Yeah, that's pretty sad for them. But even more sad, I mean, more sad for Dream Hunter right now, because, um, it honestly does feel like it doesn't really have a plan. 
not, not really like a good overview of the game. Hmm. <laughs> Why not accept the demons? 25% efficiency for Diplo in the desert is really bad. Um, you're paying for like four demons uh, for every single demon that you gain. That's just not good value. You see, Q Hunter! Utilize it. Uh, picks up the armor there instead of the fire magics. Um, fire magic is probably not really. One, it's not very, very good against Inferno. Two, it's not very good uh, with the pretty. So, there's probably not a lot of incentive to go for that. Why pay for demons if you can cook demons? <laughs> that too, I guess. That too. And then again, you have to like pay for the materials anyway. You know, for the um, for the ingredients when you have to cook demons too. So, it sometimes makes sense to buy demons. Depends on the price of the ingredients at the time, of course. And mid is comfy, so we can't even go for Berserk against them. Yeah, neither Necro nor the Comfy army gets Berserk, that is true. Well, that's why I said it's not really good against Undead, yeah. Okay. Uh, these Erdies are even <laughs> going for even a, like a further off journey. Do you think these Erdies will survive? He's putting so much effort in terms of mana, in terms of time, into protecting them. I feel like they will just die anyway. Like, I bet they will not survive this turn. I have a feeling they will just not live this turn. That's the kind of feeling I have. <laughs> hmm. Okay, minus six. And yeah, SOJ, library, these are pretty good objectives. Um, find uh, another few that you could do. Uh, seems like he's interested in the phoenixes. Which means that he's not interested in protecting these magmars, yeah. Which is like, yeah, okay. I didn't lose all of them, that's already like better than I expected. And now the rest of them are gone. Yeah? He's probably gonna be having it worse. I think he will have worse than the other. Hmm. You can no longer slow. Oh my god! Lost vampires, psychics, and the magmas! Holy, that was so much worse. I mean, it was obvious to see. By the way, my, my guess of him, like, not protecting those earnings was completely correct. I mean, it was obvious, no? For any player that actually plays vampires, it's obvious. And I'm a vampire gamer. Hmm. Vampire Psychos, WTF, yeah. Um, okay. End his misery. Well, hmm. I wonder what would have to happen for him to win. Uh, the further the game will go, I think the more it will actually favor, um, Gongwazi. Maybe this is uh, gonna be like something tricky about the specialty of, uh, of Sandro that he can do. I mean, that he can use in order to win. I mean, the... Sorcery specialty can be pretty decent, like at 20, uh, level 20, he's dealing like 30% more damage with every single spell. Which is almost like having like an extra orb on top of your orb, even. It's, it's kind of good. Mm-hmm. Uh, finds to... Uh, finds uh, quite a bit of power over here, finds some other stuff there. Not bad. Um, ops do not go for many things. Gotta be probably picking up the top art or the cornucopium. No? Oh, didn't have the mana. Okay, got it. Can you do a Russian accent? No, I can't, brother. <clears throat> I wonder. I mean, he got the ring now. He's actually pretty close to being able to demon farm. And there's like two swamps on the sides. I... <sighs> Yeah, actually, it's a decent demon farming game if it goes uh, that late, actually. Uh, but we'll see. Hmm. Hmm. 
Uh, the Psychics, don't, of course, don't deal any damage to Elementals, because uh, they deal half damage to anything that's Mind Spell immune. Such as the Nightmares. <laughs> it's free! They killed free! Uh, 70, 70. That's not a zombie. Um, the zombies can be good for an early Fenelka, but I'm pretty sure he will not want to go for an early Fenelka, because he probably... We probably realized that he's not winning that. Um, but may wait, if he's gonna be like farming the bomb right now, maybe he does realize that he needs to fight, and this uh, he recognizes that this is the best way to build HP. By the way, that was 210 zombies. And he already has like 121. Wait, he has like 370 zombies. <laughs> no, no, don't sack them, don't sack them. Please don't sack them. Wait, what the hell is he doing? Wait, what the hell was that? Magical chairs? I mean, dancing chairs, whatever? I mean, what was that? Uh. <laughs> <It's the> ding. <laughs> uh, okay. He's so unsure on what to do. True. Panic, yeah. Giving his opponent a chance. Mm, perhaps. Mm hmm. He felt he didn't use enough in this turn. Hmm. <laughs> felt like he was on like a little bit too much of a timer, you know? Needed to like uh, drain some. <laughs> was looking for the fastest unit. You know? Nah, but I mean. Okay, I mean, uh, fans of you, a few good decent artists over here. Uh, he got the Gonocopia, Speed Ring, and a Lion Shield on this turn. Um, every single turn, Gon he collects like one or two pistol slot artifacts, and maybe like a Lexed Army, builds up his uh, buy -in. Um, He's getting like so much progress in the game, it's really, really good. Why not DD? He did it twice that turn, didn't he? He did it once to the Devils, and then the second time to the um, Lion Shield. Or did he not? Did he walk to the devils? Hmm. Okay. All you peasants are laughing now at the uh, Dream Hunter. Wait until he unleashes his Ultra Instinct <laughs> and sweeps all his pulse. An example, you imps. Okay. Yeah. Cast the game for me, kitty. No? Okay. So, I wonder what Dream Hunter will be going for right now. Maybe the box there and the stats. By the way, um, on this game compared to the first game, I believe that they're not respecting the stats uh, as much anymore. Uh, for example, I believe that uh, Gong Wazi was pretty much taking every single stat in sight um, the moment that he could. But this game, that's not happening, and I'm not really sure what's the difference, like, uh, why his priorities are different. Uh, perhaps he's gonna be stunned to do that only when he gets the RTs, and RTs are currently a priority. Or, for example, because he recognizes that he's, like, growing a lead by just existing, he's prioritizing existing the most. And what's the better way to exist than to build a power as soon as possible? And the fastest power buildup is in artifacts, not in permastats. Hex grid on, why? Uh, I'm probably checking out the pathing for something. Why is he farming with all stuff not only vamp? Because some fights cannot be done by vampires, and he wants to be able to be, to be more versatile in what he can farm, I guess. That would be my guess, yes. And also, yeah, to, so you can keep the Skellius. Since it's easier to protect the entire army than, like, a single stack next to vampires. Hmm. 
<laughs> he is, um, I mean, Gong is going back to respecting stats, by the way. I like this. It seems to be working out really well for Gong Whenever he, like, gets all these stats, uh, starts going for them, um, he usually has some, some pretty good outcomes. Though his stats currently still kind of suck. I'm not really sure why. I guess he's still missing, like, some artifacts. He's, um, he didn't, like, take that many libraries yet. Did he even take, like, a single, um, desert library yet? I don't reckon I... I mean, I don't remember. I'm gonna be looking at his screen a little bit while he's looking for the desert so I can get a better idea. Mm, no, I don't think he took a library. Uh, one library was already taken by Dream Hunter. He had a really good one here on the road. A uh, very easy take for him. Wait! Actually, I think there's an aggression! This looks like aggression to me. Like, uh, he rallied the army, whatever he could. 400 zombies, by the way. Oh my god. Wait, that's game winning. If Gongwazi defends, I believe he gets overrun by these zombies. The thing about these zombies is that he can just like sit there forever. Probably want to wait the cast first. No, just ice bolts. Oof. Um, okay. Get slow, then probably gonna be going for the air orb and then into middle. Yeah, he probably wants to try and end this, because these vampires- I mean, these zombies are really good right now, because currently, they're gonna be just training to chain lightnings until one of the players dies. And what's better to soak up uh, some chain lightnings than that many zombies? Oh, and by the way, lobby's done. That's not good. That's not good at all. Alright. This is literally the worst anchor I've ever seen in my life. Dude, what? How would- but wait. Fizzy, how would you deal with like 400 zombies on week 3? <laughs> what? Isn't that good? It's not good if you can avoid the fight. But what if, um... What if Gongwazi will be defending? Gongwazi would die to this. Yeah. Like, see, do you like zombie movies? No, I don't. I probably don't like it because I've never saw one. This will like, probably be so many things that I don't like because I never tried even one of that. <clears throat> he can outkite. Well, the point of the zombies is that they're units that cannot be mind control. I mean, mind spell. So they're going to be always like providing you with the cast. But they're also not vulnerable to the chain lightning. So the idea is that you just defend with the zombies and just spam spells. Uh, with the Sandro, you could probably, like, even overcome the, um, protections, you know? Like, keep protections from air? Okay, well, I'm just gonna cast four times to get the same damage. What now, bro? Hmm. Do you like Coke? Um... I don't really drink many sodas at all. Well... Whenever I'm in the car with my brother, he usually has, like, a soda as the drink. And, uh, if I want to drink some, then usually that's the only place that I drink it at. And it's fine. Just not my first choice. <laughs> so we're down and back up again. Okay. Oh, wait, Gawazi! Wait, he just played his entire turn and I couldn't see. Uh, but he's actually not defending mid. Okay, so Gong Wazi made a choice to not defend mid. Well, he doesn't even know if uh, Dream Hunter can reach, but he's probably assumed that and uh, leaving mid for him. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> what is milk? Um, no, I just like uh, carbonated uh, mineral water. <laughs> Oh, uh, good call. He can always even farm. Sparkling water drinker SMH. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And also tea and coffee. Um, those would be my more usual options. Spark sparkling water is F there. I don't know what kind of sparkling water you drink, but... Yeah, so, uh, Gongwazer will have to reveal his, uh, zombie strategy to the opponent. Now, I think that this strategy lives and dies by the opponent not knowing. <laughs> I want to see the uh, reaction. He's like, yeah, he's like, what, how many? 
Wait, zombie? What, 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 what is this? I mean, what is this? <laughs> God, I need to switch the scene. Can you click it with your paw? Boom. Cast not her back. Where did he get the zombie? Uh, like, he found a bunch of uh, walking dead boxes in his biome, like a bunch of them, and then just upgraded all of them in order to have the zombie stack. So, the middle will be in control of uh, Dream Hunter for the foreseeable future. Which means that the game will go on, and eventually the zombies will fall off. Can't they need to switch the scene? Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, so... Don't want to find me, like, a new side of the desert. Uh, apparently looking for utopias to be able to, like, buy, buy out all the devils and so on. Get me, like, some decent choices. And yeah, finds utopia immediately. And I'm also, like, another box there, too. Oh my god, those two bosses look really juicy. But yes, like, no middle army investments quite yet, so... It's not really that good. Hmm... Okay. Oof. Also, this fight is like somewhat hard, which also means that it's gonna be like big and very rewarding too, right? Um, not bad, not bad. Dude, it, it will take him like a little while to kill these. I mean, the acid breath might even stack up. Acid breath, of course, is better the, the further the game goes. You know, stacks up pretty nicely. And rust dragons are usually tanky enough, but um, no, not in this case. They just completely die. Wait, the other boss was huge. The other boss is Phoenix's. Bro! Bro, you're gonna cuck us like that. No! We wanna see the other box, man. Dude, you literally had the moves. Why? It was such a big fight. It was clearly Phoenix's. Oh, man. I had to lower the cat every single time I need to switch the scene. Oh, no. That's not sustainable. And this guy's stacking up more vampires. Why do you need more vamps, bro? <laughs> Chill cat. Is this a specific race or a mix? I think it's a Siamese. <laughs> cat, are you okay? Mufasa and Simba. That's... <laughs> yeah. Like, he's so good at throwing, I'm always afraid when he holds this cat like that. Listen, being good at throwing means that I... have the choice to not throw. Oh, you wanna go? Okay, I can go. I mean, I don't really know the um, strategy of the Dream Hunter as... I mean, I guess he has to invite, invade the opponents by him, but that's such a hard ask. Is it a hard ask? I mean, he could kind of do it, actually. You just need to get, like, better slot artifacts, maybe get, like, like a few good uh, Colosseums for magic, and he's, like, good to go. Like, you cannot deal with this armor right now. Like, the zombies are just, like, way too much HP. Uh, they're really, really good. Mm-hmm. Mm, he's also farming like buying. Wait, is he gonna be demon farming these? Yeah, he's gonna be demon farming these. Okay, so demon farming coming out from Gongwazi at the beginning of week four. That's a like really early timing, and that's why he also just picked up the uh, ring alive because he actually wants to have like the elixir uh, in order to be able to do so. Okay, that's really interesting. Uh, with that in mind, we're probably gonna be seeing some side zone gameplay. Exactly. If you're gonna be demon farming, you need some meat. And what better meat exists than the one in the side zone? So that's pretty good. Yeah, some good stuff. 
Um, twin, I mean, 19 demons already. Oh, that's because he didn't assemble the elixir yet. He's missing the, uh, the ring of vitality, it seems? No, he has it! He just didn't equip the elixir! So he missed out on six demons already because of that. Yeah, he recognizes. Okay. Alright. Okay, my cat made a screenshot. Amazing. <clears throat> Predicting that Dream Hunter will professional baseball move this game. Really? I mean, wait. Currently, if Dream Hunter were to lose in any way, it would not be a throw. It would be a loss. Because um, he's not ahead. Currently, the person that's ahead and winning is Gongwazi. So if Gongwazi were to lose, he would be throwing because he has a lead. Oh, Dream Hunter finds another library. That's really good for him. Ah, uh, very nice. Is that Fairy Tail? Yes. I think if I'm the. Um... Okay. Uh, but actually, you are throwing. Wait, how am I throwing? How can I throw when I don't even play? Who's the best uh, grocery player? Mm, Dave Hahn is regarded as the OG legend uh, for many feats, but uh, I don't. I wouldn't really know though, because he came before I came in. I mean, he went off from the Hero Street scene uh, before I came into the Hero Street scene. Uh, right now, Shopee seems to be dominating. He won the World Championship, he plays a lot in lobby, usually has like the top rating and so on. Hmm. Okay. We gotta be finding quite a bit more meat here in order to demon farm it. Wow. He's gonna be making like a lot of demons here. And pretty fast to him. The sack will grow. And it will clearly outgrow the zombies. So while the zombies will be fa falling off, the um the zombies here will be popping up. I mean the um demons will be rising. Nice. <clears throat> Not demon farming at this fine. Okay, he decides to do so. Boy's oh, choice. Okay, you gotta be able to move it back and then easy. Of course, he does not really provide you with that many demons. Um, yeah. So, I already farmed, like, quite a bit there. I believe that the Fortress Zone is gonna be better than the Cove Zone to farm demons as well. Because their units are healthier. Like, Freddy Dragonflies is already almost Freddy Demons. I believe it's actually, like, Freddy Tear or something. Um, so yeah, that'd be really, really good. Oh, wait, no, it's not that many. It's, like, 20, 28 now. Yeah, I believe that 20 HP unit... Hmm? Not sure, actually. <laughs> Why aren't the official devs uh, of this game selected? Uh, making one of the best games ever, um, and fans made Hoda and other updates. This game could be much bigger. Um, currently, the IP is uh, owned by the original developers, 3DL, went under a few years after releasing Gears 3. Um, they couldn't even finish Heroes 4 properly, it came out without all the features that they wanted to implement. Um, then the IP was uh, is currently owned by Ubisoft, I, I believe, and Ubisoft made some new games for the, I mean, for the Mind of Magic series. And that was, you know, Heroes 5 to 7, but they didn't really, like, take off at all, and they didn't really bother to do anything more with it ever since. Because they, you know, there's no profit motive, because, you know, they tried to do what they could, but they failed. Because you don't really understand, but you know, it's a corporate entity, so you can't really expect them to understand. Mm. I want to go to bed, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? I mean, you just probably didn't sleep that well last night, that's it. Oh, by the way, he actually doubles this. 
and gonna be kicking them up into beautiful demons. Uh, pretty good discipline to not immediately, like, uh, disregard these. Um, he realizes what he wants to do and does that exactly. Nice! He second that defense in a big way. Hmm. Twenty aces, twenty more demons. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not enough demons. I mean, it's never enough. You always want more and more. Um, already 140 in a pretty short amount of time. He started to farm in like 1-4 deal. It's only 1-4-4. Four four. He took an extra down. He took an extra down and also like farmed up like uh, over 100 demons by now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good progress. He's gonna be able to do like much more, buying out the armies from the uh, side towns and so on. Yeah, maybe going into the other side zone as well. But currently, it's actually kind of, um... I believe that currently, like, more progress is being done by Desandro. The, um... Demon farming is, like, the long-term play. But short-term, it's actually better to get, like, stats and the uh, immediate box army. With that in mind, I believe that if Sandro were to attack sometime soon, there would be, like, uh, almost no way that Gongwazi could compete. Demon farming is a mistake. It plays, uh, like... If the game goes on for like a uh, some time longer, then I believe that the uh, Infernal player will always win with the current investments that he has made. So the priority of the Infernal player should actually be to extend the game. But the best way to extend the game is to like not die immediately, right? And the best way to not die immediately is to get as strong as possible, and by getting as strong as possible is going to be collecting stats and RTs, not army and demon farming. Making this long-term play is a mistake. I think. I mean... Yeah, of course, I think. Hmm... Demon farming should be banned. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny if I didn't know that you just take a contrary position to whatever is, uh... To whatever you think I think, uh, Rami. But your trolls are getting, like, a little bit too obvious. You should probably make a new account if you want to troll. <laughs> Uh, by the way, he actually didn't take that Utopia, ended up taking the Watertom instead, and gonna be defending with that. So it seems like he's gonna be like fully mind-based in this Fenalka. He's interfering with the opponent quite a bit, so to, to prevent his casting, and then just gonna be like burying in his army. And with the armor offense and the prayer, he's gonna be able to like destroy him. Okay, okay. And also we'll have the Speed Prior with the, um, with the Ardell's team. So that means that he- No, he's up against Phoenixes, he does not have Speed Prior at all, what am I saying? I think there are already too much things banned. Yeah, there's no reason to fall. I mean, it's a pretty neat strategy that's not always utilized, and it's actually like one of the most unique things um, that uh, Heroes 3 has to offer in terms of strategy. It's very cool to have this as a choice. It's certainly not too powerful, it's interactive because you can actually see the opponents doing it, you can actually like pressure them to not do it, and so on. In very many ways, it's very cool. Hmm. Demon farming is boring, not fun. Well, listen, if we should ban boring and not fun things, then I think you should be banned from chatting, okay? But is that fair? Hmm. Mm. Okay, so the Panaka might be happening on this turn already. Ooh, wait, did he just reject Firebirds? Wait, no, 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 that's not what happened at all. No, is it? No, he just got the, um, uh, Air Fundamentals. I will... <coughs> like, steps late? Yes. One Firebird. Oh, okay, okay. Then it's like, whatever. Mm. He ends the turn here, aggressively in his buy-in. Damn. And, of course, uh, Gongwaz is gonna be able to, like, get a, uh, get a pretty good perspective on what's going on here. Hmm. I believe that... Gongwazi will want to defend this, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, blocking his army, uh, his income of army is good. He cannot win in the long game. Yeah, exactly. I think so too. 
But this was pretty obvious. The moment he, like, came with the zombies, he... Probably both players should have understood that the zombies are not gonna last, you know? Like, the zombies will fall off like a, like off a cliff the moment that the caster will not be king anymore. Hmm... Is this for the permanence or for the stats? What do you think? Hmm, he's demon- HE'S DEMON FARMING! Isn't there, like, better things to do? I can take demon farming alongside other things if he wants to do, right now. Yeah, I guess so. Um, uh, defense skill. You want the attack skill here. Oh, he's diploing! Friends! Okay, sorry. Sorry, I'm a believer now. I'm a believer now. I didn't notice. I didn't realize. Took him three minutes to realize he went for Diplo. <laughs> Bro, don't ask me. Okay. Seems like the attack is happening, and Sandro is going all in up against the Fiona here. I'm gonna be farming up a few more skeletons. These nine skelly will win the game. Wait, he doesn't have an air orb. That's so horrible. Oh, that's so- oh, he does. <laughs> Imagine if he mistook the orbs and thought he was- he had it, but he was going with the water, just because it looks like a little bit- it looks vaguely similar. Mm-hmm. Okay, the attack is happening, and the finale of Game 2 is happening with the meaty Chain Lightning to open up the match. Man, that Chain Lightning actually hits super, super hard. Hmm... Not bad damage from Sorcery Bonus, uh, giving a lot of power, yeah. Like, despite the power being going from 47 to 30, that Chain Lightning still does, like, a holy amount of damage. So, the Sorcerer is actually carrying here. It's actually really good. Hmm. The Afridis and the Demons are still alive, and these are the actual power stacks. Uh-huh. Open Chris is that as well, right? Um, yes. Um, they are stacked multiplicatively, so the favorable way. Like, the damage that is then boosted by the orb is then multiplied then by the sorcery. It doesn't boost the base, it, bo it boosts the boosted damage. Sorcery is criminally underrated. Trust me on that one. Um, it's good. Maybe, maybe underrated is a decent enough word for it, yeah. Is Gong without Orb to cancel slow, by the way? Uh, no. I believe that Gong is with the Orb, actually. So slow might come out. That would be very powerful. I believe that Gong might want the prayer and try to kill the Phoenixes, but of course he's gonna be like in, um... No, he can actually kill the Phoenixes because he has the, um, Arc Double turn. So he's gonna be able to, like, double hit here. He probably should do that, right? Chain? Prayer is so much better now. Prayer will let you do so many things here. Okay. Hmm. What a peculiar... <laughs> okay, yeah, Prayer comes out. And the uh, Phoenixes don't rest either. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. There's so many um, Walking Dead to get through, though. I believe that what will happen forward is, um, the, by the way, like, the mind slots are actually so much better for Sandro, too. I was gonna say that, um, the Fiona should be, like, pretty easily a brawl into Sandro, but that's not the case at all. Like, 32 defense on the side of Sandro, that's kind of insane. Doesn't he have armor, too? Does somebody remember the skill tree of Sandro? I believe he has armor or fire, right? As, like, the two non-essential skills. Hmm. 
Bless? I think that the uh, protection from air comes up right now. Yeah, protection from air into a brawl. Or maybe even... Actually, Bless is not that bad, but... Probably not good enough. Lexi is overrated as a Hero Street player. <laughs> Who do you find that tricks me so well? My own chat tells me I'm a Pepega. You're saying that calling me a Pepega is overrating me? <laughs> yeah, okay, protection from air into a brawl or a retreat. Let's see. There's gonna be like a big meteor shower available to you. Um, it's a sorcery and or boosted meteor shower. Um, if Gongwazi is uh, treating that as a threat, he should be brawling, I guess. Hmm. Dude, after that like super weak early game and that the uh, failed vampire gaming, he's actually still doing like a really good job here in this Fenalka. That's very surprising. That's very surprising. And pretty amazing, to be honest. Okay. He was FK. Hey, with the FK, who's winning? Surprisingly, Sandro, I think. The Sandro. Like, what I'm afraid of the most is the meteor shower that will come out here. This meteor shower will be amazingly strong. No, if the demons hit the skeletons, then that meteor shower will completely decimate this, uh, the Fiona. Completely. The demons cannot connect onto the skeletons, at least without the wait turn. But the demons also have to, like, move on this turn. Because if the demons don't move on this turn, the gate will be blocked. <laughs> Ah, you're ready for the biggest shower of your lives? Ooh! Oh no, this will be painful. I bet this shower is gonna be dealing like 3k damage now. Oh no, it's only 1.7. It's not as much as I thought it would be, but it's still gonna be like a very, very meaningful. Maybe it's gonna be like a slow into shower or skeleton move into shower. One of these two options, either one will work. But yeah, I oversold it a little bit, but still. Slow into shower would be a nice move. Would he even get the speed prio? Um, the um, Devils on this range should be speed 18, then up to speed uh, 22 by half plus one. No, he would actually not get the speed prio, even if um, he slowed. Yeah, you see, the, at the bottom bar, the Devils are still moving first. Which means that he might just lose the opportunity for the big shower. If... And only if Gongwazi has the presence of mind to realize that he needs protection from Earth here. Without protection from Earth, he will get eventually annihilated. Hmm. He should summon a hit that does more damage. Ah, uh, then 3.4k? No, there's no way. Like, the center does not have, like, a lot of attack skill. Also, these guys are prayer, so they have the extra defense skill. And also, Fiona has armor, too. Um, there's not a lot of brawling damage to be done by the Sandro. <clears throat> morale on zombie. I would morale as a zombie, I'm just saying. It's easy wing for Gong. For Gong? You mad, bro. You're looking at the same game I am. Hmm. Ooh, he does not have protection from Earth. I think that's kind of spells it. Hmm. Need Pokemon to steal. Bro is the easiest win for Gong Jesus. I disagree. The only reason other elemental spells are banned is because Implosion is banned in my mind. E well, not exactly. You're right in the sense that uh, some of the other elementals could come back if Implosion was in. But also then the entire meta would revolve around those spells only. By now we're actually seeing some army gameplay. Even like this much would not be a thing. The more power you push to these spells, the, less the more power they get taken away from the army. 
So yes, they're removed as a package. That's correct, but... Yeah. <clears throat> gong T0, good night all. <laughs> okay. Wait, how are you guys seeing the gong win? I don't see the gong win. Am I dumb? There's no way the gong wins here. Well, okay, um, no, I don't think that gong is like completely out, but... I believe Sandra's favorite right now. These zombies will never die. He has enough mana to just... Oh, maybe he... Gong needs to play about around mana, I guess. Hmm. Why implosion ban? Oh, why implosion ban? It's way too powerful. It would be game dictating every single time. Like, uh, even more so than Chain Lightning already is, you know? Um, to uh, like a higher degree. And yeah, the big shower came out. And like, so many demons died. So many of the Afridis died. And uh, with so much army dead, I don't believe that... Um, I don't believe that he's applying enough pressure to beat this. And that's kind of awful for him, naturally. He's gonna be trying to get through the... Um, vampire laws, I guess. I mean... He needs to stop them from, you know, just vamping back. Oh! <laughs> okay, that morale is very impactful. Yeah, that morale is very, very impactful. All right. Hmm. GG now. Even with these favorable incomes, I still don't see the gong win. I don't see it. He just won. <sighs> Open eyes. Bruh. There's no sack play really available. I mean, what is he sacking? I guess like towards the end of the fight, you could sack like the rest of his demons for all of the Arc Devils. Uh, because the Arc Devils are the main utility. The slow is here. Oh, si Whoa, the demons are killing 67 of these uh, zombies. That's not bad. Hmm. Okay, this room, this room. 1.3k damage. Alright. He won't Sandro always lose. Bruh. Maybe quicksand game. Uh, quicksand all makes sense when you have magic mean creatures that cannot be bolted down by spells. Like, imagine, you make the quicksand battlefield, and then your unit is like running around, and the Sandro's like, Okay, bro, chain lightning. I mean, just lightning bolt, and... The thing that's running around dies. As you can see, that doesn't work. Um, the, um, it only makes, uh, the quicksand only makes sense in a magic immune setting. Whether it be anti magic spell or anti magic unit. I mean, yeah. Sandro is on his way to assemble a 1000 skeleton army. Okay. If Slackjaw was able to GG coming up, he would never be able to play, would be too demoralized. What? Hell. These zombies are applying like a lot of pressure. A lot, a lot of pressure. Hmm. I mean, not a lot of pressure, but rather... They're annoying because they're alive. Oh, clone! Hello. Oh, he needs to kill the... Uh, the... Yeah, I mean, is that good? He took a retail and did like, what, 1k damage? Maybe not even quite. He might have done less if he like even missed morale. Is that a good enough cast? Hmm. How come you don't see this win still? I mean... The... Sandra's doing so much per turn. He's doing so much. Okay, 25% of the zombies gone, while losing 50% of, uh, on a single Ifridi. Hmm... Like... Okay. He did minus 100 zombies next turn, another 100 next. Why are you assuming that Sandra will not play the game? What? Why is the assumption being made that Sandra is not playing the video game? I don't get it. 
Wait, why did he focus the... Why did he focus the actual stacks dealing damage, though? Sandro hit the Arc Devils and the of Fiends, but not if one of those actually did anything, or were doing anything at all. I guess he doesn't want the... I guess he just wants the Arc Devils gone. And he's gonna be able to finish them off with the zombie hit, I guess. And that's the point. Then... Oh yeah, he will actually get speed prior like that. And then he's gonna be able to shower both the stacks if... Oh wait, no! It's so perfect! Oh my god! He's gonna get another double shower off! Oh no! Dude, this double shower will destroy him! Oh my god. Right? Unless unlike into not kill somehow? Just move away, hit the hit the devil, you get the speed prio! You shower the three stacks, you win! What am I missing? Oh, he's big that Wait, um, the AI is, I mean, the, um, is bugged. Um, the Ephraim's will get the turn first. Okay. I was trusting the battle cube, but that's not to be trusted, apparently. Okay. Jibated. Yeah, actually, Jibated. He's a attacker. Um, in a siege battle, doesn't matter. The siege will always start a new turn on the same speed. Well, not always. Actually, if, like, all the walls are dead and the catapult is dead, then it can change. But, while well, the catapult is alive, um, it just... that's the rules. The siege will always get the... the, uh, first move. That's what I'm saying. No, yeah, but, like, um... If we need to speed 10, energy is using speed 9 right now, so it's done in terms of speed, not in terms of priority. Oh. oh my god, it seems like he's frustrated, by the way. Yeah, you see the frustrations of Dream Hunter? Oof. By the way, the zombies are dealing like 140 damage! Like, every single zombie? Is dealing like 0.6 damage, 0.7 damage. Like, oh my god, it's like zero damage. Hmm, interesting. Hell, like Shaku win. The first game was, uh, the first game was already won by, um, yeah, the first game was already won by Gongwazi. This is the second game, and it seems like Gongwazi in the end might actually be favored, which I'm completely baffled by. Wait, what does zombies do? They defended? You didn't get the devil? You wasted an entire meter shower. And you didn't kill the devil. I mean that sacrifice play is still available. Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh turn line was bugged. Yes, it was. That's what I was referring to. Um, hitting the, the double there to gain speed prior and then the triple shower would have been absolutely devastating, probably game winning for Sandro, but that was not available. Um, and it was only shown as available due to a bug in the battle queue. I recognize and said that. <laughs> Both players are bad and deserve to lose. <laughs> Just pay out bets, shut up. Okay, another clone comes out. Is clone really the best caster I wonder? Oh, and all the um, energy allies are dead too. But he's gonna be able to. He's uh, units are spread out in a way that the meteor shot will not really do much here at all. Okay. Let's see. Why not sag demons for devils? He does not have a five book. Not to mention that wouldn't be like that good of a play either because he's um. You see, when you're gonna be sacking. Like demons for devils, you're not paying the devil. I mean, you're not paying the demons to respect the devils. You're paying your mana and a turn of casting. Every single time you're casting something, you have to compare it to summoning like 132 elementals as well. You see? You have to think like that. The opportunity cost of casting a spell is immense. No. Can you guys shut up? <laughs> Oh my god.
Oh, by the way, the elementals come out. Okay. Let's see what they do. Hmm. Wait, what was his cast? Wait, so this is the round six. He started this off by... Wait, what? Hypnotize Devil. Oh. Oh? Oh, Hypnotize to take this... What? Oh, he started off the turn by hypnotizing the devil. That was the zombie cast. And now it's a new turn uh, where he, the first cast was actually Sandro's. Okay, got it. Hmm. Wait, but what was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna be like... Um, he doesn't like the Shane, it seems. I mean, it doesn't even kill all of the um, air lane. He's like hurting himself a little bit as well here in the process. But it's likely good enough, which is all he needs. Kim! Kim, Kim, I told you you're going to your old bell. You know what you also told me? You also told me that you're going to sleep! So why are you here? Yeah? Oh my god, Dream Hunter is... This is like the worst position in front of the early summon, by the way. Oh my god. Yeah... That's pretty bad. He woke up already. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Gamba. It's not over till it's over. Okay, it's not over till it's over. Gone right now. <laughs> it was over from the beginning. Hmm. Okay, so the chain comes out. There's no other cast. You just let it rip. Um, only four. Yeah. Goodbye. And Gong! Tier Zero drops Dream Hunter directly out of the tournament. And he is the one to face Dolphy in the grand finals. That will be happening tomorrow. What an epic series. And honestly, this last, this Finalka, I honestly couldn't see what a, what will happen. Um, it could have been in, in, in anyone's hands. Uh, one bigger meteor shower and the Sandro could have actually taken the lead there. Uh, but alas! Gongwazi perseveres and wins up against the sorcery specialist Sandro, controlled by Dream Hunter. What an epic series! I'm very happy to, be, to have been able to cast it. Well played to the players and um, screw you chat, you are the worst. So... With that in mind, that is it for my stream today. I truly appreciate y'all for watching. And, uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you next time. Points? Okay. The winner was Gong Walzer. Yes, indeed. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. You're all. You're all. You're all maybe sometimes correct. <clears throat> so yeah, ciao ciao, bye bye, till next.